In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about an amazing anti-theft feature that Google has introduced for new Android devices. If you have these settings, please turn it on so that if your phone is even offline, it can be locked or switched off or remotely erased and stuff like that. Just watch my video till the end. It is definitely going to blow your mind. So Google has introduced these amazing features on Android devices to ensure that even if your phone is stolen, you could actually lock it or secure your device and try and get it back. OK, so the first thing is let's get hold of my Android phone and show you exactly how to set the anti theft feature on for Android devices. So get hold of your Android phone and get to settings directly and just do a search for theft protection. Once you do that, you get directed to the theft protection by Google. On this screen, you could see that you have a lot of auto lock protection options. The first option is theft detection lock. If you put this on, the screen will lock automatically if it detects that somebody has taken your phone and has ran away or has been stolen. The second option is offline device lock. If you turn this on, what is going to happen is the screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline. So once it gets disconnected from the internet, your device is going to get locked totally. Okay, so if uh, the thief is trying to maybe switch off and switch on your phone, he is not going to be able to log into your device. The next option is to remotely secure your device. You could set up a remote lock. If you click on that option, click on remote lock. You have to click on this option or this tab for android.com forward slash lock and you put in your phone number out here, whatever it is and you click on lock device. Now, once you set this up, what is gonna happen is that if your phone is misplaced, you could remote lock your device by simply getting hold of a laptop or another Android phone and doing a search for lock my Android device on Google. Once you do that, you get an option to remote lock your device. You click on that option and then you just put in the phone number and click on lock your device. It is going to help you remote lock your device. The next option is to find and erase your device. You click on that option and you could see that this option works with Google Find My Device. If you do not have the Find My Device application installed on your Android phone, just install it from the Play Store and come back to the setting and switch it on. Switch it on so that your device is traceable on Google Maps if it is misplaced. If it is misplaced, you could get to Google Find My Device and you could sign in with the same email address which was on the lost phone and try and track your phone. And by using Find My Device, you could make your device ring. If it is nearby, you can find it and get it back. You could remote lock your device or you could also erase your data from the phone if it is still connected to the internet. I hope this helps and you got some value out of my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up. Take care, my friend.